millions of people are exposed to noise pollution on a daily basis from blaring of car horns as well as heavy duty vehicles. Experts say this noise has affected some people's eardrums, leading to hearing defects. In Lagos, the state government has over time engaged people on the dangers of noise pollution, and this year is not an exception. The State Environmental Protection Agency holds the eighth edition of the Noiseless Lagos campaign at the Johnson Jack and Tinubu Park, Alao Saikeja. La Sepa, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, Transportation, engages students, officials of the Federal Road Safety Corps, State Traffic Management Authority personnel, the NSCDC, and other concerned partners to enlighten them on the health risk of noise pollution. Noise causes your body to release stress hormones. These stress hormones make you aggressive. It gives you adrenaline. A lot of people have already lost hearing in one ear or very minimized hearing in one ear, but even they don't know it. But if you talk to them, you'll find that they will always turn the good air to you, even though they're not aware that they have only one good air. So keep, keep an eye out for that and you'll see that people are losing hearing without knowing it. The Ministry of Environment and Transportation cautions road users on indiscriminate horning. Exposure to noise can lead to annoyance, sleep disturbance, mood swing, restlessness, negative impact, and also have effect on the cardiovascular and metabolic system of man. We are collaborating with stakeholders in Transport Union to be able to tell them the usefulness of all. Because hawking is a side effect of all of us. According to the World Health Organization, noise above 65 decibels is regarded as noise pollution and becomes harmful when it exceeds 75 decibels. Government gives more statistics on the number of people that stand the risk of the menace. We know from data that about 2.5 billion people around the world by 2050 will suffer some degree of hearing loss. That means one out of every three persons that is around you by the year 2050 will suffer some degree of hearing loss and hopefully that is not you. The general manager of La Sepa says the agency has received over 4,000 complaints of noise pollution and is determined to curb the menace. People are aware that they can report noise pollution to La Sepa and the biggest achievement is the impact measurement. This year alone we've had over 4,200 complaints. Now when you know you can complain and there's resolution and there's law that backs enforcement, I would say we've done very well. Some residents present at the event get free air tests. Medical experts have advised the public to get their ears checked regularly in order to prevent hearing loss due to noise pollution.